Uh, Lindsay, congratulations on the win. Uh, how are you feeling right now? Uh, on top of the world. <laughs> um, obviously, you had to change opponents. You got a good fighter, a three and zero oh, to tap of the walk-ins. Yes. Uh, how hard was it to change? You know, deep into camp, have a change of opponent. None of that ever bothers me. I'm always ready to go. I really don't look at my opponent that much. I just try to improve myself, my own skills, and I know if I execute what I I can do, you know, I know the fight's gonna go my way. Um, you're an, <laughs> you're an atom weight. It's not a division that is that popular. Yeah. Um, do you think that impressive win? You had a lot of submission attempts. You had a knockout at the end. Do you think you kind of made a statement to Bellator to say, hey. I hope so. 105 was the thing, man. Like, we're ready to go. We need our, we need our spotlight, you know? So I hope so. I think the most impressive thing is, is it's a weight class that's not, you know, the lower you go the weight class, the less the knockouts. Yeah. It's like four knockouts already on your, on your record. I, I mean, do you consider yourself a knockout artist? I never did, but I, it's coming to me. You know, I, I just let it come. I don't really look for them. And when they happen, they happen, you know, so. Um, what do you, what do you want next? I'm ready for anybody. I just hope Bellator, like I said, I hope Bellator brings a 105 division and, you know, moves me back. Um, <laughs> you were originally going to go against uh, Marissa Messia Blanca. She's a girl from the Northeast. Yes. Right around the corner. Yeah. Very, very talented. She's yes. A former world champion in BJJ. Um, that's it. A fight that I know I was excited for. Yeah, I, I was excited were. too, yeah. Um, God bless any chance God, you want to You want to have that fight next? I'm, I'm, whenever she's ready, we've been waiting to fight each other for a while, so she knows I'm down, I know she's down, so eventually I know it will happen. <laughs> were you thrown off by the clap, the 10 second warning? Yeah, I, I was kind of like, I mean, after like after like 10 seconds, it didn't like stop. I'm like, that's weird, why did they? So then it kind of just went out of my head, but it was weird. I was like, wow, that's a fast round. But, <laughs> I, I'm glad you brought that up because I like forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, it was a super weird moment in the fight and it, it seemed like yeah. you both handled yourselves pretty well in that situation, yeah. but you could even see the gentleman who clapped, you realized it was a cool oh, boy. Shit. It's fine. But it was funny though too. Thing. No, um, but I heard a point I was like, no, it's a five round fight. Like, But it was weird though because even when they announced that fight for weigh-ins, the announcer said three, three minute rounds and we both were like, what? <laughs> so then it's funny that that happened too. It's like weird. Weird stuff always happens to me. You were know? <laughs> really close to, to finishing that fight in the first round. Ooh, one more second. Bell. I, I hope she like tapped but it was like after the bell. Yeah, the was a tight on wall. She knew I had on. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, what did you think of the stoppage itself? I know her corner contested a little bit. There was some talk yeah. online that they thought it could have gone a little longer, that she threw an up kick. Uh, yeah. What were your thoughts? I mean, I didn't even know she threw the kick. I mean, yeah. I saw it after I, you know, I watched it, but I didn't even know. I mean, I, I, mean, I was about to go ham on her face, so I mean, I, I'm happy that they did stop it because she was done. I mean, but I get that she would contest it. I would pop, we all fighters, we want to contest it, we want to keep going, but it's, you know, the best out there for our safety. Are you enjoying this? I feel like you've gotten quite a bit amount of media attention heading into this fight, uh, more than a lot of the preliminary fight fighters, in my opinion, heading into this. Are you enjoying this? Oh yeah, it's so much fun. I have a blast. This is what I love to do, and I just have fun when I come out, and I'm just so happy about the way I did, and you know, it's a long time coming, and I'm working my whole life for this, so, you know, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> I know opponent-wise, it doesn't really matter. You get in there with it, you just want to get in there and yeah. go ham on people's faces like yeah, you so I, just, really I don't know what it is when I get in there, but... <laughs> you want to take a, a little bit to, to smell the roses? Oh, no. Or... I'm ready to go to, right now. Like, I can go again, you know? So um, they need you tomorrow night, you're in for tomorrow night? Yeah, if somebody drops out, I don't know, there's no other 105 hours, but... <laughs> they broke up, yeah. Broke up? Broke up? Broke up? Broke up? Is that, broke up. Is that I mean... Want? It might be a tough fight. <laughs> There's definitely been a lot going on this weekend. Of course, you know, MVP and Paul Daly, some big matchups. Yeah. You know, to be a part of this fight weekend, it's a cool, what has that been like? Cool thing, thing yeah. Well, I'm definitely staying to watch the fight tomorrow. I couldn't pass up on that, so I'm excited. I also have some friends on the card, too, so I'm like, get to enjoy two nights of fights. Like, so cool. And it's funny, too, because I had Bellator tickets a couple, a couple months ago, and then I ended up fighting last minute. And I had to get my ticket to Ray. So then I'm like, oh, and then I got this fight. I'm like, well, it's a different way to come to Bellator, but I don't know. So. There you go. Congratulations. Thank Congrats. you. Thank you, guys.